Uh, Kirk, what's your reaction to what you've seen from 11 through 25 so far? Well, it makes you that much more, that much more excited about what we're going to see up in the top 10. But it, it doesn't necessarily affect maybe be who's in as far as the top four. But uh, uh, the job that Mark D'Antonio has done this year with that football team, to think about where they were last year, even having a setback earlier this year, and the, the way they've been able to fight back, sitting there controlling their own destiny to get to a Big Ten championship. And the same about Clay Helton. How about the yeah. amount of pressure that that team had on them and that quarterback had on them? And it's almost as if they've stopped playing football after their loss in South Bend <laughs> and there they are hovering all the way up into the top 11 still some games ahead of them and of course getting into the Pac-12 championship uh, playing probably Washington uh, so SC is one of those teams just kind of hanging out there still on the fringe with two losses and that's getting a lot of respect to me for for a SC team that we've seen look pretty bad this season at times um, and and so moving but they have right of the here, ship uh, I mean they, they look they have looked better the last several um, weeks I feel they like. still have the same issue with their quarterback turning the ball over. Yeah, his decision making is Yeah, yeah that, that yeah. issue has not changed. Is it, is and, it, and until that issue changes, USC is going to it's going to be trouble giving them a ton of respect. I'm surprised to see him that. But, uh, but here's the whole thing with the Pac-12 right now. Do you give them enough respect to have a shot at a playoff spot? Uh, if SC were a two-loss Pac-12 champion, you have a multiple two-loss champions? It would have helped. Honestly, it would have helped if Stanford won last week. It would have helped Washington's chances. Right. I don't see the, the Pac-12 getting in. Yeah. I, I don't see I that unless a lot of teams lose ahead of them. But as long as teams like Stanford lose before Washington gets a chance at them, it's yeah, hurts the entire conference. The only thing I'll say about that is Washington State's a team that beat them. They get to play them. So, I mean, I don't think that necessarily matters that much when it comes to Washington because Washington is going to face them. I, I do feel like one thing, too, we talk about injuries all the time and how the committee should look at them, and, and Kirby Hokup mentioned Clemson and their quarterback situation. USC was beat to heck when they played Washington State. I mean, you're talking about a couple offensive linemen that didn't make the trip. USC was very, very dinged up. I do want to watch them the rest of the season. They'll have a shot at Washington, but I do feel like they're coming on. It's not forget.